Hey guys, I thought I'd make a real quick video about uh, working on our farm well today. We uh, put this in last summer. Uh, our daughter Lillian got a FFA grant and was able to get this Gould's, really nice Gould's uh, deep well pump. Put it in and uh, just had issues with the contacts sticking on the pressure switch so they would uh, stay connected and the pump would then, uh, they wouldn't pop back apart in order for the, uh, the well to, to run properly. And had a friend uh, came over and looked at it, said, uh, asked immediately, who's a, he's a contractor, good friend, and he looked at it and said, uh, what gauge wire are they running from the panel? And um, the wire that had originally been run way back when they put this well in was 14 gauge wire, which is what you would run for your ceiling lights, uh, you know, 100 watts, not for running a one and a half horsepower well. The distance isn't that great. It's, it's really only about, um, I don't know, maybe 30 yards uh, from, the power, from the panel, uh, the pole, which is right over there. Uh, if you can kind of see through the woods, just through the woods, might be able to see it over there uh, to right here. So what we've done is I had some 10 gauge wire, much heavier duty, and have just run it across the ground. It seems to have helped somewhat, but I'm gonna switch the angle here and show you the contacts. Okay, so this is the uh, contact, this is the replacement kit from Square D. Uh, which is this out of the way um, placement contact kit and you can see if you look at this look at these two contacts um, hopefully you can see the difference between these so they were obviously arcing and shorting out quite a bit you can see it's starting to, to happen on these two uh, over here but you can really see it on these ones. Uh, they are just, get that to focus. Um, they are really in bad shape. Have been, uh, obviously had some, some serious damage, uh, arcing. It's not from short cycling. I really do think it was just low, low power because of the, um, because of that 14 gauge wire. So, I've got this popped apart. Um, these are the existing contacts on the other side. So you can see again how bad those, those ones on the far side, they are in rough shape. So we're gonna replace all of these and hopefully solve the problem. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and get this, this part. Uh, removing, removing these other contacts, this pressure switch is the contact carrier with barrel spring and no cup washer. In order to get these free, you've got to push with a flathead screwdriver on the opposite side of this pin. You got to press pretty firmly until that pops out like so. And then you can take this part, get the springs out, and just put the new pins back in. Okay, well, obviously we got the pump back up and running and it was not the easiest job I must say that I've done it was lots of little pieces uh, things springs and things like that that can easily fall down and get lost uh, but got it back together you can hear it's running out watering in the garden so it's cycling on it's not short cycling which is when it kind of you hear those contacts coming apart very very quickly faster than you can snap your finger uh, which would also cause damage to the contacts but it does run frequently about every 12 to 15 seconds we've got when we bought the farm and this um, this area which if I can 
Maybe I'll try and get a picture in of, or a few pictures in of what this looked like when we bought it and then the stages that we had to go through with it of cleaning it up to get it to this point. But there was a pressure tank here that had been left here by maybe not even the previous owners, but the owners before them. But it was only a 100 PSI pressure tank, which is pretty small, uh, especially when we're out. We're running some fairly large, sorry if it's the wind and noise, it's real windy today. But we're running some pretty large gauge, two inch uh, PVC. Again, it's what the previous owners installed for irrigation running out to the, the garden area. So it cycles on uh, on and off about every 12 or 15 seconds, which again, I, I don't know a lot about wells. It seems like that's, that's fairly quick. So one of the next upgrades we're probably getting is a larger pressure tank. So just so that it can hold, hold more water and uh, pressure and not have to cycle the pump on as often. But that's it. Uh, so got that project done and Easter break continues and lots more to get done. So I'll try and get some more videos up uh, as this week. God bless, take care.